You wouldn't think that something as simple as a new pair of shoes and socks would be that big of a deal. But in third world countries where children often don't have them, they can make a huge difference in their health and well-being. It's sad to think that those little people doesn't have shoes. Oh, they have one pair they borrow from the brothers. It is, it's so sad. While students and staff at Legacy School aren't to be compared to children in foreign countries, they are receiving a brand new pair of shoes as a gift so they may feel special. And they sent the flyer home and it said, we're um, giving every child at the school a new pair of shoes and a new pair of socks and they're going to wash their feet. And I thought that was so cool. Over 60 volunteers hand washed the students' feet one foot at a time and then yeah. fitted them with a pair of socks and shoes, one pair at a time, for the perfect fit. You know, this is a, a Herculean effort to be able to wash the feet and bless almost 700 children during their school day with a pair of shoes. So obviously it's a little bit of a, a wonderful disruption to the school day schedule, and the need for shoes is year-round. Walmart donated dozens of boxes of shoes in all styles, sizes, shapes, and colors. Uh, collectively, Walmart has been responsible. Uh, today we will go over 10,000 pairs of shoes nationally that we've worked on uh, in 11 different uh, states. This will be our 25th Walmart event across the country. So we couldn't be more proud to work with Walmart and their commitment to serving in their communities. Even the teachers at the school were pampered and humbled with new shoes. <laughs> You're getting a pair of shoes. I know, this is like so great. Angela is amazing and she just told me a story she never had her own pair of shoes so I feel like I should be watching her feet. I was always wearing my mom's shoes because we couldn't afford to get new shoes very often. Thank you. Thanks for helping our school. You're welcome. I hope they yes. I had shoes. They worked for me and I was perfectly fine with that but I'm so glad that other kids and teachers get the chance to be appreciated and that they get to have shoes that fit them. It would soon be off with the old and on with the new for third grader Ryan Osnes. I hope that they would give me orange basketball shoes um, because my dad plays basketball and I want to play basketball. And while he didn't get the orange shoes he dreamed of, these Shaq basketball shoes are Legacy's school colors. Samaritan's Feet distribute shoes in over 80 countries around the world. This is the second time they've come to Utah. St. George is the 329th city they visited across the nation. People really do care and have done some amazing things. So I don't know why we got picked, but I sure am glad we did. She loves the shoes. They're pink. She, she loves that they're pink. And she wishes that they had cats on them. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. They went away with shoes in all shapes, colors, and sizes. And just as unique as the children who are wearing them, these shoes are filling the hearts in this community. The kids' opportunity and how happy they are. There's some kids that never have their own brand new pair of shoes. So I'm just so grateful. Over 750 students, faculty, and staff at Legacy Elementary School in St. George embraced a loving and humbling goodwill gesture that will surely leave a lasting legacy. First a new school, and now new shoes. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.